Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Journal Readings. This reading is my fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, for the upcoming week of October 21st, 2019. The sun is beaming, like suddenly in my eye, like within the last few seconds. So, <laughs> um, we're gonna roll with it though. On the 23rd, the, the sun enters the sun, Scorpio, right? We start Scorpio season. Happy birthday, Scorpios. Um, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. And we also have October is still a four universal month. So I feel like, again, dealing with the shadow side of yourself, dealing with the um, side of yourself that you may have suppressed air signs, or air signs, <laughs> fire signs. Um, but also there could be some uh, cracks in seemingly strong foundations, right? Things may not exactly be what they seem. Um, and then on the 27th, we have a new moon in Scorpio. New moons about new beginnings. Sun and Moon in Scorpio. So just really dealing with old wounds, dealing with deep emotions, really getting in tune with who you are, who you want to be, what you want to accomplish, right? Your shadow self. What are the major things for my fire signs for the upcoming week of October 21st, 2019, please? That's Reiki. Little Reiki, little Reiki. Okay, angel number 922, fire signs. Look it up, see if it resonates with you. Yay, I can see again. <laughs> okay, we good. So yeah, the first card that I got is the heaven, nine wine heaven, completions. Interesting that you got completions during a new moon. In order for things to start though, uh, start fresh, you gotta let some stuff go. This is divine completion. Right? Nine is also the number of light working. Nine is the number of bringing things to fruition. Right? Things, again, this is good completion. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's you're graduating, you're finishing a project, right? These are good completions that you may want. Um, it's the nine, nine is also the number of service. So serving other people, um, going with the flow, allowing the universe divine timing right that's what just came to me allowing the universe to do what it's gonna do in its own timing fire signs then you got the east coming out of the shadows dealing with the shadow self what did i tell you bringing that aspect of yourself to the forefront so particularly i'm talking to leos here right because leos ruled by the sun east me 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 but you have to bring out all of you bam all of you fire signs so as we are dealing with all the scorpio energy and we're bringing out aspects of ourself right you don't get to pick and choose what you want to show no more it's all of it it's all of you or none of you that's just what it is point blank period two bamboo duck partnerships things coming together so we're wrapping up libra season and moving into scorpio season this is you engaging in more authentic partnerships you engaging in more um beneficial partnerships right Pen partnerships that benefit your true self your whole self and doing away with things that don't right this is who i am it's all of me or none of me and then that's how you manifest these partnerships that accept that that are built on that foundation what did i tell you about these foundations that may not be what they seem right with the scorpio energy look at those threes expressing yourself expressing yourself creativity joy being happy i told you that already three one earth bring it bringing beauty to your environment being bringing beauty to your immediate surroundings being grounded throughout the changes right interesting that we have earth underneath the heaven so this is letting you know every, i told you already i knew it divine timing right when you do what you need to do down here and it's in accordance with your higher self everything works out perfectly baby abundance comes grounding comes this is possibility that's what it is. Some people may look around and see like, oh, this is arid, this is barren, barren land. It's not, it's, it's pregnant with possibility, right? It's infinite possibility there. And that's what's available to you when you are in alignment with the heavens, fire signs. Three circles, Phoenix, rising from the ashes. <clears throat> Being proud of who you are. Again, this is Leo, Leo, Leo energy, right? Standing underneath this east, facing, facing yourself, right? Facing the world. This is who I am, declaring who you are, and this is who I'm going to be. And you can keep burning me down, and I'm going to keep rising until you get tired. Because this is what I do, right? I'm a phoenix. Seven bamboo tortoise. 
being patient, being patient with the divine, right? I told you everything in divine timing. I told you things wrapping up in divine timing, though, right? Wrapping up aspects of yourself, your life, right? That no longer suits you to step into these new, beautiful new partnerships. But guess what? It's going to take some patience, right? It's going to take your being able to acquire the wisdom that's coming along with this. This partnership, it, it looks to me like this is something that you want, but it's going to take some time. That's all. So in clarifying the East card, we got commenced. Beginning, a beginning of a whole new cycle. Beginning of a whole new cycle. One had to end, beginning of a whole new cycle. A whole way of being, of living, of viewing the world, of going to get it, of getting money, of getting putting yourself out there. Next to the willow, again, another nine. Some stuff got to come to an end first, y'all. You can't take it with you. So for somebody, whatever that means, you can't take it with you. <clears throat> you can't take them with you, <laughs> right? You can't take those with you. Can't take it with you, right? Can't do that. Can't take me with you. <laughs> um, I don't want to go anyway. Forget y'all. But no, nah, for real. It's about healing, right? I told you, don't get so caught up in yourself, fire signs, that you forget that this is what this is about. This is about healing. Ain't no coincidence that you have the sun in Scorpio and you have a new moon in Scorpio at the same time. That's all about healing and resilience, right? Healing yourself. And then putting your best, being able to put your best foot forward. Being able to put your best creative foot forward, right? Being able to really shine your light and come from behind this tree. Two wine sword. What did I tell you? I just told you this. You can't take it with you. I told you that. Making sacrifices that you need to. Cutting things off that don't work for you anymore, fire sign. Right? Cutting, even doing away with the, the impatience. Right? Maybe patience is something that you haven't cultivated yet. Letting go of that. Being willing to sacrifice. Oh, yeah, I got two pines. The plot just thickened. Um, hmm. With the two. And the two. So a lot of partnerships, y'all. A lot of partnerships. Definitely bringing balance to some situations. Bringing balance to even how you operate fire signs. Right? Maybe for some of you, it's too much me, me, me. For some of you, um, got caught up in Libra season and you gave too much. Now it's just bringing balance back into that. Harmony. Two circles pine. Contemplating. Thinking before you act. <clears throat> meditating. Writing. I told you that. This is It's a big week for them. Because of all the Scorpio energy, because of all the shadow work that we're doing, all the stuff that happens in the dark, right? So it just reminds me of the song, um, is it Mary Mary? It's, it's the God in me. And it's like, it's the God in me, right? And she like, uh, what is it you think you see, right? You seeing God in me, right? You you see the, the flashy stuff. You see the amazing things on the outside, but you don't see me praying, you know, when I get in, inside the house. You don't see me crying. You don't see... Uh, <clears throat> the tears, right? Basically, you don't see the spiritual work, the shadow work that I'm doing in order to manifest this stuff on the outside. Bam, there's your message. So that could be something that you really want to focus on this week. That's how you get to the outside. I told you that. That has come up in another reading. That's how you get to it. You do the shadow work to get to the things that you want. So you might think like, oh, I'm journaling about my dreams. Oh, I'm writing, you know, out my feelings or I'm doing something. I'm creating, I'm expressing myself. Like, this ain't getting me no money. There's no point in me doing this, right? I know how you act. I've already fire signs. Y'all want to get it. That's what my moon is. But it is. And healing those things and taking advantage of the energy that is right now, right? The moon and the sun, we ain't dealing with fire energy right now. We're dealing with water energy. And that ain't how water operate, fire sign. You can't just go, 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 do, 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 make it happen, be assertive, be overly aggressive. That ain't how water signs operate. That ain't how you manifest it with water sign energy, right? You do the work. You do the emotional work. You get to the nitty gritty, and then amazing things happen externally. Bam. And what is that next to you? And then amazing things happen. Then you manifest your abundance. Then your home situation gets better, right? Then your financial situation improves. Your beauty, you even look different. Your energy changes. Right? You're more in tune with the divine feminine. That is how she manifests. Right? Fire energy can be very aggressive. We need it because that's how you get stuff done. Right? I love my fire moon. I love it. Take it, give it to me, right? My Aries moon. But at the same time, it's all about balance. And that's something that I've had to learn too. Especially with certain energies. 
right? Sometimes you have to be in receptive mode, being in the divine feminine energy, regardless of, you know, your sexuality, your gender, that don't matter. Being in the energy to receive, right? Going with the flow, being in tune with the softer side of life. You can't always blow, right? Sometimes you gotta be a breeze, not a storm. Bam, last card, two circles pine again. Again about balance. Again about balance and how you get money versus your spirituality versus your material world, right? Again about balancing um, your initiative versus your receptivity, bam. But I think it's very interesting too, definitely right, and I told you that already, that this is clarifying the duck card. And in clarifying the duck, right, you got the peach and the pine. So it's some of y'all could be a, a love triangle. That's been coming up. A lot of y'all be getting into some stuff. Because um, you got the young guy. He's a good guy. And then you have the young girl. So for some of you, this is definite romance. Um, you may be more into it than they are, though, because I don't see the West card. But she's sandwiched between two pine cards, right? And she don't know who she want to give her peach to, right? But she don't know where she want to put her time. Right, what's the best use? She likes them both. They both seem good and they both are good. Both of your options are good options, right? But you can't take them with you. I told you that with the nine cards. I told you that. I told you that with the sword too. You can't take both of them with you. You gotta make a decision either way. You can't lose, um, is what the cards are saying. They're both good, whatever these things are. It could be two different jobs. It could be two, whatever. It looks like romance, but two different places of residence, whatever, two different trips you wanna make. Partnership. You can't go wrong, but you got to make a decision. How do you make that decision, fire signs? Meditate. Write it out like I told you. Think. All right, Aries. Nine circles, unicorn. All right. Angel number 819, look it up, Aries, see if it resonates with you. About being honest with yourself, being honest about things that can't go on anymore. Y'all got the first, the heaven card, right? First card out the gate. All the nines that y'all had. One plus eight is nine. Unicorn. Being unique, being your unique self, which is no problem, but also being honest with this is who you are. And because you've been honest with yourself and saying this is who I am, then guess what? Your decisions must reflect who you are. You can't half step, Aries. You can't say, well, this is who I am. I dress like this. I wear this. This is, I'm expressing myself. But then when you get outside of, you know, your house, then you are somebody completely different. That ain't even in alignment with what, who you just declared yourself to be. Be honest with yourself. And that will help you fuel the decision that you have to make, that you must make this week. Sagittarius South all right angel number 920 Sagittarius look it up see if it resonates with you I take this success everything headed in the right direction you doing everything that you're supposed to be doing everything being on track right keep reaching Sagittarius keep reaching but make sure that you're in tune with your roots as much as you are with your dreams right as much as you are with your ambitions see again this goes back to the Mary Mary song it's the God in me this is what we see on the outside. We see the tree reaching forward. We see the tree um, being abundant, right? We see it externally, but we don't see what it has done before it even sprouted, right? It has to be firmly rooted. The roots have to be nurtured, nurtured and nourished, right? It had to be right under the ground before it could be amazing externally. So keep that in mind, Sagittarius. Don't try to just keep putting on fronts and look good on the outside. Make sure that you're using this Scorpio energy to do the shadow work so that you're good internally you're good with your spirit your foundations are built so that you can continue to grow and reach high but you already winning all right leo four bamboo carp leo angel number 494 look it up see if it resonates with you so leo knowing that you're on firm foundation right um being okay with figuring things out by yourself Look, you got a lot of two energy, um, which is about partnerships, right? But look, and two, and two is four. So I get that. That's how you get your foundation. But in this car, he's by himself. He had to do the work himself, right? He had to make the decision, what I told you already, himself. It, it, it um, in, uh, included, that's so weird. It's Mercury in the shadow period of Mercury retrograde, right? I'm ruled by that. So it took for him to be 
one with nature. It took him, he ain't got no shoes on. He had to be vulnerable, he had to get comfortable. He had to be comfortable in the pain in order for the good things to come, in order for him to make the decision, right? He had to be comfortable in himself, in his own shoes, or lack thereof, right? To know what he wanted so that he could make the decision that was right for him. And as a result, look at what's coming. Information, abundance, everything is flowing to him. He not even tripping off that bitch. It don't even matter no more. He's gotten to a point to where he knows who he is. He's solid in himself. So that anything the universe brings to him is like, oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, a million dollars, all that'll work. I mean, I was happy, you know, without it, you know. But I mean, but seriously. So make sure that you're in tune with yourself, right? Your own mental and spiritual foundation is strong before you um, venture into partnerships this week, right? But you still got to make that decision. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good week. Peace out.